Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're out here at beautiful Sardis Lake in North Mississippi. We are going to be doing a little bit of wade fishing for crappie. I hear they're catching them in three to seven foot of water so I guess we'll find out on that. But first I want to go over a few important points and stuff about wade fishing or things that I find important. Number one is a good set of waders. These are frog tog waders. They're super warm, super comfortable. I like these a whole lot because they have a zip out insulation liner. So if it gets really warm and you're still fishing late in the year or whatever, you can zip out the insulator and you just still have a pair of waders. The other thing to be important of when you're wade fishing is to slide your feet. Don't step. You slide your feet so you can like kick in, you, you hit the log with the tip of your foot instead of like stepping on it, tripping over it. So you don't fall when it comes to falling you want to keep as much water out of your waders as possible so you want to make sure that your wader belt is nice and tight because that will help keep as much water as possible out of your waders the other thing i like to have when wade fishing is a really good metal stringer because i can clip it to my waders you can either run this through their lip or through their gills, keep your fish with you. And uh, you don't lose any fish like that very easily. The next thing really important out here, at least that we have found on Sardis, is a good, let's see if I can get this on camera, is a good jig head, quarter ounce jig head with a sartreuse body orange jig head. They love, love that color out here. So I'm gonna finish getting ready to get in the water, get my camera gear set up and everything. And we're gonna go out there and we're gonna see if we can catch a couple of crappie. Uh, here on Sardis, you have a 15 man limit and they have to be over 12 inches. And I like to mark a spot on my jig bowl at 12 inches so I know that everything over it from that point over is over 12 inches. 12 inches will get you a ticket. So like I said, I'm going to finish getting ready and we're going to go try to see if we can catch some fish. Also, I want to take a second and talk about how I keep my jig heads on me while I'm fishing. I keep them in an old pill bottle. You can keep four or five in there. Just shake out what you need. I put them in head first so they come out nice and easy. And there's four or five in here, different colors and stuff in case I need to change up. Whatever I'm doing is not working, break off. Anything like that. Keep them in a pill bottle. Keep them in your pocket. So you always got extra jig heads. Works really, really well. Just want to fish the structure, guys. Missed one there. Another important thing I like to do when wade fishing and when I'm walking from structure to structure I like to keep that jig in the water. You never know, you might catch one between, you know, the structure. So it's just always in there working. Always got that jig in there working. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but those are some golden eagles right there in that nest. They're actually currently working on building on it. One of them just flew in with a uh, with a twig. 
pretty big limb actually, but we haven't caught anything yet. We're still working through all these trees. Hopefully we'll catch something, but it's just nice to be out in nature. It's really beautiful out here. A little cool, but it's nice. All right, guys. So been out here about two hours. Did everything I could to catch some crappie wade fishing. I was sinking up to my knees in mud and stuff. Normally, the water's a little higher. It's pushed up a little further where the grass and stuff grows during this time of year. So the ground's a lot harder. You can walk a little better. And generally, you catch some fish. Um, talked to a couple of guys who were coming out in boats. They said that they're catching them now. And almost 20 foot of water due to a couple of days ago, it went from 70 degrees and they were catching a bunch of fish to uh, there being snow on the ground. And I guess that cut the fit off, fish off in the shallow water till the water warms back up. Um, not gonna say that's it for the video today yet. I'm gonna go home and grab my nephew and take him to get lunch and stuff and we may ride out and hit a boat ramp. There's a couple of creeks and stuff on the way home that I'd like to hit. So we may try to catch some white bass. I hear they're hitting up at Clear Creek boat ramp up here at Sardis off all of them rocks and stuff. And then uh, maybe hit that creek. We don't catch nothing there. We'll see what happens, you know. That's why they call it fishing and not catching, you know. And I know I shoot a lot of fishing videos not to catch a whole lot of fish. I try. But, you know, everybody wants to talk about you know, how, how hard it is to fish out of a boat or whatever. Have y'all ever tried bank fishing or wade fishing? That's tough on you. I mean, I sunk up almost to my waist in mud. Try getting out of mud like that. And what I pretty much figured out I had to do was put all my weight on one foot and keep one lifted up. And when that one was lifted up, when I started sinking too deep, I'd step up on it and leave the other one lifted up. And it always gave me kind of an out, a way to get out. But I sunk pretty good there for a while, and I really thought I was stuck. I mean, both my legs, every time I'd step one down, I couldn't pull the other one up. It just did not, did not work out the way I wanted it to today. But, uh... I'm gonna go grab him, take him to get some food, and we may we may come back out fishing a little bit and see if we can catch something else. Try try for white bass up at Clear Creek boat ramp here on Sardis, or that creek in the WMA I found that looks pretty good. Like might have some brim and stuff in it. I'll grab a different pole and some different lures. We'll just see what happens. Um, if not, I'll close this video out later and probably be at the house in different clothes because it's warming up. I'm sweating. Sweating bad right now, but that's why they call it fishing and not catching. All right, guys. Well, I kind of forgot to end this video the other day. Weather got really bad. Has been rainy and crappy the last few days. As you can't tell, I got a haircut and a fresh shave or beard trim. Some people ask why I post the videos where I don't catch any fish, and I I just like being honest. You know, you don't always catch fish. I like giving tips and just doing my best. And if I was to take out the big boat every time and use the, the uh, live scope and everything like that and all the charts and my depth finder and everything, I'd catch more fish. But trying to do it out of the kayak and do it off the bank and do it waiting and trying to do it without really any electronics, it's more difficult because you can't see what's down there. You don't know what's down there, so you just fish around until you find some fish. I guess the old school way of doing things. But I do plan on fishing the next time it's beautiful again. We have a lot of rain in the forecast because it is spring here in Mississippi. So that's not necessarily doing well, but I'm trying. I want to thank you guys for watching. Y'all remember to like and subscribe. Y'all stay frosty and I'll see you next time.